My dear friends, I am Sister Kate, the catechetical leader here at St. Albert the Great. It is wonderful to be talking to you today. I miss the children's liturgy of the word at mass and seeing your joyful faces. This week, we are celebrating the 12th Sunday in Ordinary Times. As you can see, I have a green cloth around the crucifix and you will notice that Father and Deacon Ted are wearing green vestments. During these summer months and into the fall, the ordinary time of the church year will continue. Let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. We will begin our children's liturgy of the word today by singing our song, Open my eyes, Lord. Today's reading is the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 10, verses 26 to 31. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Don't be afraid of anyone. Everything that is hidden will be found out, and every secret will be known. Whatever I say to you in the dark, you must tell in the light. And you must announce from the housetops whatever I have whispered to you. Don't be afraid of people. They can kill you, but they cannot harm your soul. Instead, you should fear God, who can destroy both your body and your soul. Aren't two sparrows sold for only a penny? But your father knows when one of them falls to the ground. Even the hairs on your head are counted. So don't be afraid. You are worth much more than many sparrows. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we listen to this Gospel, we notice that Jesus repeats, Do not be afraid three times. Let us think for a moment. What are some things we are afraid of? Some of you might have thought of the fear of being made fun of, the fear of not knowing the answer when the teacher calls on you, the fear of heights, or the fear of losing a friend. Jesus knew being afraid was something we had to face. In the, God, in the, in the Bible, God asked Abraham, Moses, Joseph, Zechariah, Mary, and the apostles to be not afraid. Saints like St. Thomas More, St. Isaac Joes, St. Francis Cabrini, St. Josephine Bajita all overcame their fears to serve God. The first words St. John Paul II said when he became Pope was, be not afraid. This certainly is a message God wants us to hear today. Another message God is speaking to our hearts 
is that we must proclaim God's marvelous deeds to everyone. We know that God is all-knowing and all-powerful. He is our greatest treasure. His wonders of love, mercy, wisdom, and grace are all around us. Everyone needs to hear God's marvelous deeds. There is some sadness in the world today, but we know God's love is more powerful. It is our mission as children of God to declare to the world and especially those around us the wonderful works of God in our lives. Lastly, we hear in our reading that God takes special care for everything in the world, even the tiniest things. Jesus mentioned how we are worth more than a sparrow bird. These birds are small, black, and brown creatures. During the time of Jesus, sparrows were cheap to buy and everyone could afford one. If we look outside today, sparrows are all around us. They eat bugs, fruits, and seeds and that is why they love bird feeders. This summer, look for sparrows, for they chirp and they build nests nearby. In today's gospel, Jesus wanted us to know he is watching over these birds. But more importantly, God's eyes are always on us. He counts the hairs on our head and is close to our heart. Let us remember to be not afraid, proclaim God's marvelous works to those around us, and be happy knowing God's eyes are always upon us. Links are included below of activities you can print and complete and questions you can discuss as a family. And let us end in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. God bless you.